TV star Brad Bufanda left thank you note to devastated friends and family before jumping to his death. TV star Brad Bufanda left a thank you note to his family before jumping to his death. The 34-year-old actor died in Los Angeles, where his body was discovered by a homeless person shortly after midnight, and he was pronounced dead at 12.40 a.m. TMZ reported a suicide note, which gave the names of Brad's parents and thanked his friends, was found either on his body or on the pavement nearby. The TV star's manager Kirsten Solem told the website that this death came as a complete shock, claiming he did not struggle with substance abuse. She added that he had never shown any outward signs of an emotional struggle. Brad played Felix Toombs during seasons 1 and 2 of Veronica Mars, and had appeared in other shows including Malcolm in the Middle, Even Stevens, Days of Our Lives, Co-Ed Confidential and CSI, Miami. Speaking to The Hollywood Reporter, M. Solon requested privacy for the former child star's family. She said, We are completely devastated for he was an extremely talented young actor and wonderful, caring human being. He was reviving his career having just completed two movies, and we are shocked and saddened by his passing. Veronica Mars creator Rob Thomas tweeted his condolences, writing, I'm heartbroken to hear of Brad Bufanda's passing. He did great work on Veronica Mars. My heart goes out to his family. I am number 39, am heartbroken to hear of Brad Bufanda and number 39, s passing. He did great work on Veronica Mars. My heart goes out to his family. In recent years, Brad had posted images to on social media complaining of a declining Hollywood career, in many of which he was noticeably thin. In one uploaded to Instagram in 2012, Brad had posted pictures of royalty checks for previous work, one of which was for the value of just $1.62, one pound and 24 pence. A second check from Warner Brothers Pictures, made out to the value of $38.91, 29 pounds and 75 pence, was also seen in the image, which was captioned Def Hollywood. In the same year, Brad posted a selfie of himself posed in a mirror, in which his ribs were clearly visible, on which he wrote too pretty for hash Hollywood. The photo was captioned, and I'm gonna get skinnier too dot 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 like the machinist dot 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 I wanna play a cancer patient or something similar so I can connect w the families who are dealing w health issues like my family. His social media feeds were also full of nostalgic career highlights from his youth. However the actor's career was beginning to pick up following a quiet few years, and he had recently filmed two movies. The Californian actor, who was born Fred Joseph Bufanda before illegally changing his name, began his acting career in the karate film Pocket Ninjas. At the age of 23, he briefly pursued a career in professional basketball player but after sustaining multiple injuries he went back to acting in 2007. In 2008, the former child actor Lan did a leading role in co-ed Confidential and in 2012, he starred in psychological thriller Dark Tourist, alongside Melanie Griffith and Michael Cudlitz. Earlier this year he'd bagged a small role in action comedy Garlic and Gunpowder, and had been working on a romantic comedy, Stan the Man, when he died. The Californian actor, who was born Fred Joseph Bufanda before illegally changing his name, began his acting career in the karate film Pocket Ninjas. At the age of 23, he briefly pursued a career in professional basketball player but after sustaining multiple injuries he went back to acting in 2007. In 2008, the former child actor Lan did a leading role in Co-Ed Confidential and in 2012, he starred in psychological thriller Dark Tourist, alongside Melanie Griffith and Michael Cudlitz. If you are affected by any of the issues raised in this article, please call the Samaritans on, free, 116,123 or 020-7734-2800.